Hello everyone, my name is Foot Fever, otherwise known as Daily Triggered, and today, September 19th, 2017, is my four year anniversary of playing Grand Theft Auto. Not particularly Grand Theft Auto Online, but just Grand Theft Auto. It's the day I got it, and the day I downloaded it on Xbox 360, and the day I started playing it. Now, Grand Theft Auto had its four year anniversary on the 17th. Uh, but I got it two days after on the 19th of 2013. So, yeah, I was I was planning on getting it the 17th, but the people that camped out got there before me, and they were all sold out at literally everywhere. Grand Theft Auto is a big game, so they're literally sold out anywhere. And today I'm going to uh, do a little special for you guys and give back to the community, well, my fans. And... It's not a shark card giveaway, but it's a thousand times better. It's a GTA money glitch. Now, before you click off and think this is 100% clickbait, this is how I make all my money in Grand Theft Auto V online. And it requires a friend. So you need like a friend uh, that has the same um, platform as you. And you need a rubber band, a controller, it can be an Xbox One or a PS4. But if you're playing on any PC, then you're gonna need a controller. And sadly, this does not work for last gen, but if you're playing last gen, do you really need money with all the modders and how Rockstar just doesn't care and doesn't even monitor during that last gen? And basically last gen is just a platform for people to mod on, so. If you're playing last gen, I don't think you really need it. Um, so let's get right into it. Now, first, to start this, you are going to need to go on your social club account on your computer or your iPad or your tablet or your phone, one of those things, and you're going to need to download the capture missions, time is money, and then there's an exploration point and it's two players. It's one through 16, so you're gonna to wanna to download one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And once you've downloaded all of those, this is where your controller and your rubber band and your friend come into play. So first, you're going to want to make sure your controller is plugged in because you don't want it to die. And if you have a wired controller, uh, then you're lucky when you don't have to plug it in. But you're going to make sure you want to make sure your PlayStation or your Xbox controller is plugged in. Now, Xbox controllers don't take batteries, but uh, you can buy the rechargeable battery pack or rechargeable batteries and just plug it in with the uh, Xbox cable. So go fuck yourself. And uh, then you're going to get your controller and your rubber band. Now your controller has two analog sticks. As long as you're not playing with like a PlayStation, flipping PlayStation 1 controller. Otherwise, you don't have like any analog sticks. So what you want to do is you see the left and the right analog stick. You're going to want to take your rubber band. And here, I'll show you. Push it up on the on the left analog stick so it's straight and then wrap it around the handle of your controller. And so basically what you're gonna be doing is it's gonna make you walk straight. And then in the capture, basically you'll be walking straight and collecting the thing. That's how I've actually afforded to buy all the motorcycles I have. Before, last time you wa probably watched one of my GTA videos, you probably saw that I, I think I only had the Hakaku, and now I have literally like every cool looking motorcycle. Uh, I was just driving one of them, and I fully maxed all of them, which is like, it's like a million dollars. And I also have been buying some vehicles. I have the Insurgent, the Chroma. I was just rebuying all that, and basically I can afford to buy any new plane. Now I just spend a lot of money, so now I only have 500k. Uh, but I got to level 172, and Last time I was playing GTA with you guys, I don't think I was 172. So yeah. And then basically, what you and your friends will do is you'll leave your PlayStation on. I recommend doing this overnight while you're asleep. And, oh, by the way, before I say this, one person will be making around a million dollars. And the other person will be making like like 600k at max. It's, it's randomized, so it's not like if you're host, you're going to be making a million, because my brother always hosts, and and um, not most of the time, but some of the times, 
I'll be make I'll make like 800k and then he'll make like 400k. But sometimes I'll make like 400k and then he'll make like 1.2 million. So if you're the person getting the most amount of money, <clears throat> which is random, then you're gonna be looking upwards of over almost three million dollars if you keep it if you keep your PlayStation on for like or Xbox or your um, PC. I just said PlayStation because that's what I have. If you keep it on for like eight hours, nine hours, upwards of to twelve hours, then you're going to make basically a lot more. Some person could make upwards of almost $3 million, like 2.7, 2.8, and the other person would make like a million. But that's only keep uh, if you keep your console or your, play, or your uh, PC on for a long amount of time, which has a risk of it overheating. Even if your PC has a very powerful and strong fan, no console or PC is made to run for like 12, 13 hours. Most people will do it. When they're going to bed, I do it, uh, start at, like, 9 o'clock, and I end it at, like, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, that's not that long. Well, it's a while, but you're not playing. So, it's basically, like, I'm, most people will say, well, if I play that same amount of time doing adversary modes, I could make more money. And if you're thinking about it this way, you're not playing GTA. How much money can you make not playing adversary modes? You won't make any money but I'm not saying this this money is enough to just lay back on like you were a modder this enough this money is enough to make it so you kickstart DLCs so you're basically making a million a day and then what you can do is if you have a car selling and a motorcycle business you can pair it with that and then you can play double money in RP adver adversary modes and you'll be ready for DLCs quick and you, n not even one shark card bought and you'll have like 50 million dollars for the new DLC. Which is going to be really useful because uh, Rockstar is really cheap and apparently they want you to spend f like flipping like $700 for one GTA DLC and shark cards. Yeah, that's why I've, I used to always buy shark cards and I haven't bought one in a while because of this. So yeah, hopefully that helped you. And now for the next part. This is about a new series I'm creating starting on October 31st. It's called Clown Trolling. I'm going to dress up as a clown. Uh, this is the costume I'll be wearing for the first episode. And I will just be sitting around spam killing people, trolling them, doing funny stuff to people. And they'll probably be talking in the videos too. So you'll be able to hear kids on GTA rage so hard because I'm trolling the crap out of them. And uh, when... Call of Duty World War 2 comes out, I'm sure I'm going to be trolling people in Call of Duty World War 2, and, uh, and like, um, in zombies, or in multiplayer, or something like that, I'll just be trolling them, maybe in gun game, I'll just keep knifing them repeatedly, you know, that's always a good troll, to make people want to flipping shoot themselves in the face, but yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that series, it is starting on October 31st, if you guys are like, but aren't you like, Flipping like four years old, shouldn't you be out trick or treating? For one thing, I am not four years old, and for the second thing, I don't trick or treat anymore because I'm a maverick. My my favorite Logan Paul quote is "Be a maverick." My favorite Jake Paul quote is "Dab on the haters." So that's a good uh, way to end the video. Dab on the haters, and yeah, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like down below and dab on those haters. And I'll see all you guys next one. Peace out, guys. Peace out. When I close my eyes, I can almost see